Today we'll show you how to apply a firmware flash update to an Addo Thunderlink 2068 storage adapter on a computer running the Windows operating system. While we're demonstrating with a specific product, the steps are the same for our Celerity and Express SAS adapter products. By flashing the device, we're actually writing this software to the flash memory of the storage adapter. The software will inform the card how it's supposed to interact with the computer. We update this frequently to repair bugs or add new features to our hardware. Addo recommends checking our website frequently for updates and always using the latest drivers and firmware for your products. Before you begin, you want to make sure that the Addo Config Tool Management application and your device driver for your Addo adapter are installed. The adapter will also need to be installed in your computer. One more thing to check before you begin. We recommend disconnecting any storage that you may have attached to the adapter that you are updating. It's always a best practice to power down your computer and the storage before disconnecting any cables. Okay, now we're ready to begin. Open a web browser window to the Atto Technology website at www.attotech.com. From the main page, hover over the support menu. Then, select Downloads under the Technical Support submenu. This will bring you to our login page. From here, you can either log in with your existing account or register for a new account. You'll need to have a registered account before you can download drivers, firmware, or other software. Once you've logged in, you'll see a screen with two columns. The first shows the different Addo products, and the second, the specific models for each product family. Addo Thunderbolt devices will only be found under Thunderbolt devices rather than under fiber channel, SAS, or Ethernet adapters. The config tool can be found under the related device rather than under the software products tab. Select your product line from the left hand side, then select your device model on the right. We're going to show you how to install firmware for a Thunderlink adapter, so click on Thunderbolt devices and then Thunderlink SH2068 devices in the right hand column. On the download page, click on the Windows icon and you'll be moved down the page to the drivers and firmware for the Windows operating system. Find the link for the Windows Flash Bundle and click to download to your computer. Depending on the product type, the Flash compressed zip file labeled with FLS may be a single file or four files if it's a single file, save this to your desktop. If you know the bootstrap service for your machine, extract that file to your desktop. Otherwise, the general rule is that if you're using the device on a Windows machine, try the BIOS version first. If you're using a Mac, use the EF64 version. If this doesn't work the first time, you can always try a different one later. Using the correct version of firmware is important when you're using your device to load an operating system. This can also be important for compatibility reasons. Once you've extracted the firmware file to your desktop, open the Auto Config Tool network tree to localhost, and then to the device that you want to update. Next, on the right-hand side, navigate to the Flash tab. Browse to and open the file that you extracted to the desktop. Here you'll be able to compare the date on the new firmware to the date of the current firmware. Then click Update. After you click Update, you'll receive a notice to make sure that you unmount any mounted drives. As a best practice, you should also make sure to physically disconnect anything that is attached to the device when updating the firmware. When this update is applied, the links from the card will be severed, and any files that are being written at that time can become corrupted. This can cause serious damage if important structural data is being written when the update begins. After you are sure that any attached storage is unmounted and disconnected, you can continue to the update process. The status bar will give you information about the update in bold red text. When the flash is complete, the config tool application will request a system reboot. This has been a demonstration of how to apply a flash update to your Addo products. Check the Addo website or Addo YouTube page for other videos that show how to install hardware and device drivers.